What's up everybody? This is Carolina Mike, also known as Michael, here with a special unboxing of the Spigen Ultra Hybrid S for the Galaxy S10 Plus. Stay tuned. I pay all my bills on time. 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 Okay, check it out, everybody. So, like I said, my name is Carolina Mike, also known as Michael. I don't care what you call me as long as you hit the like button and subscribe right there. Yep, down a little bit. Boom. Appreciate you. All right. So, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of videos on this particular Spigen case. I've seen maybe one unboxing. So, I wanted to give you a little bit on this one here. I haven't got the phone yet, so I don't want to disappoint you or mislead you. This will not be going on the phone because the phone doesn't come until tomorrow. However, when the phone does get here, you better believe I'm going to do another video. Now, one thing I want to do is I'd like to actually show you a comparison after I open it up. I want to give you a comparison of a um, another case. I'm going to show you a side by side with a an older uh, Spigen case that is a Neo Hybrid, I believe. Yeah, it's a Neo Hybrid Crystal. I had it from my Galaxy S7, which I'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, basically, just to show you what this case will probably look like in about a year and a half. So there you go. Very nice packaging from Spigen. Uh, I definitely enjoyed the, uh, the Neo Hybrid that I got for my S7. Maybe I'll tell you a story about how it saved it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and break in and see what's going on. Got your little tab here. Pretty slick. And let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Fresh out of the box. Seems pretty flexible. Seems similar to the, uh, the Neo Hybrid. I like the way that feels. Oh, yeah. Definitely like the way that feels. Um, oh yeah, and it, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work on the edges right here, uh, but we'll see when we get the phone. But I definitely like the way it feels. I like the flexibility. It's not super flimsy, like some of these cheap ones you get. By the way, this was only like 15 bucks. Um, Amazon, great deal. Uh, so yeah, it it's definitely worth the insurance because I'll show you a little side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, this is the Neo Hybrid I had for the Galaxy S7, and it did have the uh, extra plastic ring, so this is in two parts. Uh, you can also see, uh, well, I haven't taken off the film yet, but you can kind of see the yellowing that has occurred. Um, this wasn't smoky when I got it, and you can see right around here in the edges, it's kind of smoky. Let me lay it against the uh, white background so you can kind of see the two side by side. So you are going to get some yellowing. Maybe I could have cleaned my phone or I, I don't know, but I think it's a known fact that you're going to get some yellowing. Uh, and so this is, like I said, I got this one December 3rd, 2017. So it's been over a year. But you know what? Um, this thing has saved my phone uh, several occasions. So, and I like to be able to see what's on the other side. I don't like the cases that have it all blacked out. After looking at this though, it's like, my goodness, after, after a while it does tend to darken. So keep that in mind or clean your phone or clean your case, I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get the film off here. What am I missing here? 
There we go. That's interesting. Okay. So peeling this off. Well, we got one on the outside and on the inside. Okay, they are definitely protecting this. Okay. There we go. Get that out of here. And then we got one on the inside too. And how do we get, come on. Looking for an edge. There we go. Okay. Get this off. And there we go. There's our case without the plastic or the liner. I don't see any sort of a pattern or grid or anything back here. Uh, this uh, Neo Hybrid, you can, I don't know if you can see, but it has like a fine, fine grid pattern in here. I'm not feeling that at all with this Ultra, Ultra Hybrid S. Again, this is the Ultra Hybrid S uh, crystal clear case for the um, Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I do like the way the buttons feel. We'll see how it is on the phone. And then we have a kickstand. A lot of people have been complaining about how flimsy this is. So um, some people were saying, oh, when I got it, it was already open and it's super cheap and doesn't feel good um, but I don't and this was people excuse me these were people on written reviews because I haven't seen a lot of video reviews of course I'm getting fingerprints all over it I guess that would have been a good idea to leave the plastic on but you know what I'm doing it so that you can see what it looks like all right so okay so there's a little a little space there where you can see that you can put your finger underneath and lift it up it's spring loaded check it out that's spring loaded man bam look at that bam bam watch this uh here we go you ready for this bam 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 that is awesome. You could actually play a game. You could launch. Here, let's see if we can get one of these things to launch off of here. This is awesome. Is it strong enough to... Ah. All right, we'll, we'll do it later. So what's the deal? I don't see why people are complaining about that. Hmm, and there's even a little mag... There's, sorry. There's a little magnet here that catches it when you close it. That's pretty slick. So you'd put it there. You'd set your phone down. Yeah, I could see that working. And it's not going to work that way, though. Huh. Well, there you go. That's, again, that's the Ultra Hybrid S from Spigen. Ultra Hybrid S. It's got a kickstand. It's good to go. So we'll touch base when we have it on the phone so you can see how it feels. I don't know. Maybe if we get enough likes, we can do a drop test. All right. Thanks for watching. This has been Carolina Mike, also known as Michael. Don't care what you call me as long as you subscribe and like. Till next time.